Today on Zoom, we're going to make ice cream. You make it in two sealable plastic baggies. Oh, squeeze into my screen. The first team to melt their ice wins. Look at his hands now and tiny. Go! Oh, 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 Goodness, Mr. Needle, where did you get that smashing shirt? From Johnny Incorporated. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Yay! challenge is from Ashley H. of Red Bluff, California. Put ice and marbles in a pie plate and see how many marbles you can get out in one minute using your toes. Okay. 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 Are you ready? Yep. One, two, three, go! go. Oh, oh my gosh! It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot! And Good job, 
have to send us Do you think that I can get this ice cube out of this glass of water just using this piece of string? Wow, this is really hard. Oh, I almost got it. It's slipping off. See, I can't do it. But here's a way that I can. This phenom was sent to us by the kids at the Kelly Smith Elementary School in Francis, Florida. The magic ingredient is salt. Sprinkle a little salt on top of the ice cube. Then, drag your string across it. I'm going to put a little more salt on top. A little more. There we go. In about three minutes, the string will be attached to the ice cube. Let's see what happens. See the salt dissolving into the water? If you look closely, you can see that the top of the ice has changed. It's a lot rougher than it was at the beginning. Ta-da! This is rising ice. This happens because the salt melts the ice a little bit and forms a puddle on top of the ice cube. Then it refreezes a little bit around the string. And see, you have rising ice. Salt is interesting things to ice. In the winter, it's used to melt ice on the streets. Later, Kenny will show you a different way salt and ice are used when he makes ice cream in a baggie. Hey, Francis! Yeah, what? What does an ice cube do when it's nervous? I don't know. It breaks out into a cold sweat! <laughs> okay. I bet you can't guess what I'm doing right now. I'm riding a six-foot tall Hi, my name is Lucas Kinnock. I live in Scrabble, Maine. I'm 11 years old, and I'm in the fifth grade. I'm in a group called the Jim Dandy. <laughs> I couldn't even do this. Luckily, I had an encouraging teacher. Let's try it again. That was a great job. Ready, go. You taught us how to unicycle and juggle. And do both at the same time. I hated to unicycle. I used to think it was stupid. I never wanted to practice. And then I realized all I had to do was practice more and more, and I get better and better. <laughs> I'm just one person, but when we perform, I'm with 20 or 30 other kids. It takes a lot of teamwork, and sometimes that can be difficult. It's great to be a part of the Jim Dandy. You get to meet a lot of new people, and I have a lot of friends that are in the Jim Dandy. I love that field performance when you get to see the look on everybody's faces. I think it's great because no matter what you do, even if you fall, the audience doesn't care. You just keep on going and keep on trying, and hope you don't make mistakes. If you have an adventurous mind and can carry something out even when you're frustrated, maybe you should try what I do. Who knows? Maybe you'll end up performing for audiences around the world. Hey, Francis. Yeah, Caroline? Why did the kid put ice in his aunt's bed? I don't know. 
because he wanted to make antifreeze. <laughs> antifreeze. <laughs> That's funny. Here's another way to use ice and salt. We're going to make ice cream. It's so easy that Rachel Key of Miller's, Maryland calls it easy ice cream. Instead of using a machine, you make it in two sealable plastic baggies. You'll also need some ingredients to make the ice cream. You'll need some whole milk, half and half, vanilla extract, and sugar. To make your ice cream freeze, you'll need some ice, one cup of coarse salt, some water. In a bowl, mix one cup of whole milk, pour it right in, one cup of half and half, Hey, Buzz, you want to put this right here? See you. A half teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. I love the smell of vanilla. Me too. And a half cup of sugar. Mmm. Pop. Yep. Now mix it. Mix. Mix it all up. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now, pour the mixture into a quart-sized baggie. Make sure it's the sealable kind. Mm -hmm. To make it easier, I think we should just, like, take this measuring cup. Yeah, that's a great idea. Some and then we could just dump the rest mm -hmm. of the sugar in here. Yep. Okay, yep. you want to just pour the rest in now? Sure. I think it'll... Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Perfect. Now, squeeze out all the excess air and seal it. We found it easier if you seal it with duct tape so it doesn't leak. Yeah. Okay, so want to get the scissors and sure. cut this. Should I cut it now? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Okay. So tape it here. And you fold it over. Fold it over. Okay. Now, put the quart size bag into a gallon size bag. Also put in some water, ice, and a cup of salt. Adding salt to the ice helps the ice cream get colder faster. So put in ice. Put in some ice. Oh, oh. I'll hold it open. Not so nice. There. Now the salt. Now add some salt. One bit. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, squeeze all the air out of the bag and seal it with duct tape. Once again. Now, you want to toss the bag the bags up and down for about 10 minutes. You can switch off with a friend if you want to. And you should put a towel over your hands so your hands don't freeze. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. You want me to start and then I'll sure. pass it off to you. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. Since this takes about 10 minutes to become ice cream, here's some that's already done. Mm. We've already taken the quart size bag out of the gallon size bag and rinsed it in water to wash off the salt. Now we're going to cut a corner off the bag and squeeze out the ice cream. Looks good. I know. Okay. Good. Want okay, me to pour you some? Sure. Okay. Squeeze some ice cream. Squeeze. <laughs> this is cool. Okay. Give me some ice cream. Okay. 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 This is fun. I yeah. know. Thumbs. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Bon appetit. Mmm. Mm. Oh, the that best ice good. cream ever.
Hey, Kaylee. Yeah, Rachel? Why do the boy make his father sit on the refrigerator? I don't know. Because he wanted an ice-cold pop. Get it? <laughs> Becky R. of Greenfield, Wisconsin, and Billy M. of Reno, Nevada, challenged us to make a keep a cube container to see how long we can keep an ice cube from melting. We're going to make our own keep a cube container out of materials they both used. Here are the materials that we're going to use to make it. A cardboard box, wax paper, tape, newspaper, aluminum foil, and rubber bands. Our container has to be less than one cubic foot. We're going to have a contest. Caroline and Francis against Eric and me. So are you guys ready? Yep. yep. Okay. Right. So we well, what if we made a nest, kind of? Like, put our... Something like this. Put our fist in. And then put a rubber band around it so it stays. Yeah, and then put the ice cube inside. We have to keep the cold air inside. Yeah. So if we wrap it, no heat can get into it, and we have to wrap it tight so so the heat won't be able to get into it, you know? Right. And so, like... Um, but that also could keep the heat in. How? Because once we wrap the ice cube up, then that, there's going to be some heat in there. But I think what's yours is a good idea, just maybe one layer of wax paper. So you want to do that? Sure. Want to put wax paper on top of the newspaper? So just yeah. a little, be a little more. Okay. If you close the box and just taped it right here, heat would be at bowl again into the holes. So like this. Okay. We'll yep. We should line the box like. Like right here, around the sides mm -hmm. and the bottom, with tin foil. That way, when we line it, the box, it won't be as easy for heat to get in. If you use tin foil, because what tin foil does, it it kind of reflects light. Then we it'll, we'll keep the temperature down inside the box. So if we put, as soon as we fill up the um fit the ice cube oh, all settled so in here, we close our box up, then put oh, tin foil around it, it maybe it'll refract so some mean, of the heat. Okay, so you mean like, okay, we close our box and the ice cube's inside, yeah. and we put that over, then the sun, it, I mean the light, when it hits it, it'll just go like, yeah, it'll so be, heat. be like, oh, it I won't think. be as hot. Maybe we could put more layers on the ice cube. All right. You want to put one more layer of something else? Like I would do what? So now you want to close the box and start working on the outside? Yeah. So. And then just tape it down, because see there's little cracks in the box, like here, I think we should do it all, like, Around. wherever we see a lining. Maybe when we're finished using the rest, we can block all these holes through. Yeah, but just listen, all right. Now putting some more tape on the edge. So what we can do is we can hang the ice cube uh -huh. in from the top like this, so it's just dangling in the air. And that way, she maybe will be able to pass by the ice cube instead of hitting the ice cube. How do we want to do this? Oh, I know, maybe, okay. Like, fold it and then tape it down. All right. It looks cool. There's no cracks like, in this box anymore. Oh. And if it gets, it, it can get humid in there, and then if it gets really hot and it's wrapped up, if it gets really hot, it will melt. So what if we... Want to, like, pop holes in it so it gets air? Sure. Okay. I think we should just do a little more tape yeah. on the side. Good. Now we'll get some air. No. And it still has... Plenty of... Plenty of tinfoil, tinfoil on it. Why don't we start getting the sides? Okay. This is so cool, though. Oh. Hold on. Let me get some tape on that side. You guys done? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Come on over. Oh, done. All right. Okay. Let's get on this side. 
All right. So we're both done, and we'll check on our ice cube in 90 minutes to see whose ice cube is bigger. Uh -huh. We've got a third ice cube. It's a control ice cube. In 90 minutes, we're going to check if the ice cubes in the boxes are the same size as the ice cube in the bowl. Look, the control cube melted. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is neat. I know. Oh, that is strange. It's time to check our own cube. Oh my gosh. Go. Here. Here, be uh -oh. delicate here. Okay, here we okay. go. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Go. Can I open it? Okay, we can go it. Whoa. Whoa. You're pretty good. Oh my gosh. Artist. It's Whoa. awesome. That is tiny. Whoa. <laughs> Same wow. size. Okay, let's see. Dad, was, oh, oh yours is a little bit a little bigger. Just a little bit, though. That's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. Here's the things we did that helped keep the ice cube from melting. We wrapped the cube and prevented warm air from hitting it. We used aluminum foil to reflect heat away from the box. We hung the cube. This kept the cube from touching the warm sides of the box. And we stopped warm air from entering the box by taping all of the holes. Experiment with ice cubes at home. Find out which works better to keep the heat away from the cube. Wrapping the box in aluminum foil or hanging the cube. You can also use different materials, like a plastic bowl instead of a box, or notebook paper instead of wax paper. Test it out and send any discoveries you make to Zoom. two members of the Zoom team. Zoe K. and Caroline Z. of Richmond, Virginia, cleaned up a park littered with trash and broken sleds. It was muddy and messy work, but they made the park look great. Way to go, Zoe and Caroline. Do you volunteer your time? If you do, you're already a member of the Zoom team. Make sure to tell us about it at the Zoom website, where you can also learn about what other kids are doing to make a difference in their communities. Zoom into action! Zoom into action! And join the Zoom game! Zoom game! Brrr. We're going to use this ice cube to play the ice cube mouse race. It was sent in by Jack C. of Frederick, Maryland. The first team to melt their ice wins. Here's how to play. Form two teams and get in a line. Each team gets an ice cube. The first person in line rubs the ice in their hands until their hands get too cold. Then he passes it to the next person in line. She rubs her ice until her hands get too cold. The first team to melt their ice wins. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't yeah. rub yet. Okay. Get ready. Get set. Melt. Keep you guys keep going until. Go for Team 
become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, in print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Hey, got a bite? No. Ooh, ooh, I've got something. What is it? It's a message in a vial. Open it up. What does it say? What does it say? It's a Zoom website. PDSKids.org. Ah. Uh, uh, what do we do now? I have an idea. Let's see if we can catch a computer. Yeah. Funding for Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston. <laughs>